Hi friends, it's Terry Stewart, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Welcome to my Stamping is Fun channel. I have a very quick card today to share with you that features one of the celebration items, the Paper Blooms Designer Series Paper. So let's get started. This is the card that we'll be making today. This card features the Paper Blooms Designer Series Paper, which can be earned as a reward with a qualifying celebration order through February 28th. It also features the greenery embossing folder and the oval occasions bundle, both the punch, the oval punch and the words. Double oval punch can do both a scallop punch and a smaller oval punch that coordinates with the oval occasion stamp set. Today we're using time to celebrate, happy birthday, and these uh, this floral image. So let's get started. I have pre-cut and pre-embossed the parts of this card. If you go to my blog, stampinghairblogspot.com, I'll have all the cutting measurements and ingredients I use for this project. Now I'm using Misty Moonlight uh, as my card base and I scored that. Now my sample card used um, Night of Navy. This one, I'm gonna change it up a bit and use uh, Misty Moonlight. So let's do some stamping. I'm using Memento Black Ink. And um, for my inside, I'm going to stamp Time to Celebrate. And this does come from the Oval Occasions stamp set. I'm going to stamp the Happy Birthday sentiment. Now this is a scrap piece of white paper. It's one inch wide. So it's perfect for this stamp. It's a little wonky. So I'm gonna try this again and to uh, more center it on my scrap paper. I have a white envelope and I'm going to stamp this floral image on it. And then I'm gonna turn it and stamp the other direction. I'm gonna use the same floral image on my insert. This will coordinate with my envelope nicely. And that's all the stamping for this project. And now for some punching. Using my double oval punch, I'm going to punch out our happy birthday sentiment. Using my tailored tag punch and a scrap of old navy cardstock, punching out a backing for my greeting. So let's start to assemble. This is my card base. My embossed cardstock will go on the top and then my DSP paper blooms will go on the bottom. So with uh, some liquid glue and put some glue down here to hold these two pieces together. And where they come together where the join is, I'm gonna use some of this uh, tulle ribbon, polka dot tulle to wrap around. And I'll tie a bow, tie a knot. Just over where that, the two pieces where the cardstock and the DSP meet. And I'm gonna have this more on the left-hand side. And then trim my edges. And now we can adhere our first layer to our card base I'm using some uh, liquid glue. I'm 
And this will just be centered on our card base. Now I adhere our birthday sentiment. Well, there's the back. It was off center. So we restamped it, remember? And then this just gets put directly on our tailored tag punch. Now we'll use some dimensionals behind that to pop it up. And remove our dimensional covers. And place this right over our toll ribbon. And then adhere our insert with some, again, with some liquid glue. And there is our finished card. Thank you so much for joining me today with this quick and easy paper blooms project, please subscribe to my channel so I can bring you even more fun stamping pro projects. Until next time, remember, stamping is fun.